Welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Stan Karion and I will be talking you through this video. The topic of this video is how to archive DX events using the DX tools in B2B Data Exchange 9.x. This video will demonstrate how to archive DX events using the DX tools command line utilities. DX keeps track of all the events that are happening in the environment. These would be stored within the DX repository and they would also be visible in the DX console. The DX tools archiving, which is available for older versions and still available now in DX 9.5, is the utility that we will be highlighting in this video. As from 9.5, there is also an option for advanced archiving uh, using ILM. This is not a topic of this video. I am starting off this video by having a look in the DX console where you can see um, all the events that are available in my environment. So if I go and have a look through the history of my events, you can see I have about 17,000 pages of events. Not only might this affect the performance of actually browsing through my events on the DX console, it will also impact the storage on the DX repository relational database and also of the DX repository in general. In order to archive these events, DX provides utilities. These can be found in your B2B Data Exchange installation directory under the DX Tools subdirectory. The tool we will be using for this is called archive.bat or archive.sh if you are on Unix. By just typing in the command, you will get the structure of the arguments required to actually run this archiving tool. Uh, first of all, we can see a specification file, which is where you will define the rules uh, for your archiving. You need the user ID of your DX repository. Of course, this user does need the archiving privilege. You need the password for the corresponding user and an optional server. If you do not specify a server, it will by default connect to the local host on your port 18095. The specification file is a simple XML file where you can define the rules for all of your archiving. As you can see in this example we have one archive rule but you could have multiple archive rules for each of your partner. If we have a quick look at the arguments required, first of all we have the name, a name you will use to identify your archiving rule, a partner name where you can specify for which partner, partner you want to archive events. Uh, there are two uh, system defined um, values, all between parentheses will archive all of the partner's events and system between parentheses will archive all of the system events. Storage location is the location on your direct on your server where you want to store the archives. Event age is the minimum age of the event event to be archived based on the last change to the event status. So in this specific example um, the utility will only include events where the event status was changed at least 11 days and 20 hours ago. Archive events will simply um, indicate that I want to archive my events to my storage location. Purge events will actually purge the events from the repository after they have been archived. Include log blobs can actually um, include all of the blobs for the data of the log events as well. In this case, we are not archiving, archiving those. When we go and uh, execute this, then we have the full command line here, which has my specification file, my username. Do note if you are using Power Center domains integration, you no do need to provide the at native or whichever security domain you are using and the password. So if we set this off now, uh, you can actually see that the tool is connecting to a service um, which is part of the DX service. So it's the DX server itself that is doing the archiving. The archive.bat uh, or sh script is merely a client connecting to the server. 
Depending on the number of events to be archived or the size of your overall DX repository, uh, it will take a few minutes to archive uh, your events. You can see in my case it took a total of 4 minutes to archive my events. Uh, once this has executed, you can find some additional information about uh, the actual archiving. Uh, f first of all, you could go and check your DX server log. The X server log will have a few entries here. As you can see, we have been archiving and purging 4,975 events. Um, of course, because we have been archiving things, we have everything now uh, within our archive directory, where all the information of these events is now stored. And as a last confirmation, we also have, if we refresh our events, a new event created to actually log the fact that we have archived um, our events here. This concludes this support video. We hope it has been useful to you. We would like to hear any feedback from you by email on supportvideos at informatica.com or via Twitter at infasupport. Thank you. Bye.